So we got a slightly different video for you today. In this video we're going to be reviewing the Hophog HD PVR2 Game Edition Plus and I'll be able to show you the benefits and the drawbacks of the product. In the background to this video there is going to be some gameplay of the capture card and I will be able to compare it to the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro which is a very similar capture card so you'll be able to see the quality difference. Also for people that don't know this is the product I currently use to record the Xbox. The first positive point I believe for the Hophog is it does actually contain all the cables so it will mean you won't have to go out and buy extra cables as it done, does come with the, all the HDMI cables and all component cables needed to connect the PS3 up as well. Although one disadvantage to the Hophog is that you are going to need a mains power supply whereas with the other products it does take its power from the USB port. Also it is a lot larger than its other competitors products meaning that it is going to take up a lot more space and it loses some of its portability factor. But another nice feature of the capture card is that it does come with a video scaler meaning that you can play in 1080 but record in 720. This will help save up a lot of space on your hard drive as you are no longer creating such massive file sizes. Also I found the button on top to be very useful as once pressed it will start the recording and also run the software meaning that you're not going to you're less likely to miss important clips. But the most important factor for me personally is that it produces high quality footage. As you can see in the background there's two images now showing you the difference between the Roxio and the Hophog. Both images haven't had color correction at all and this is the raw footage from the capture card. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually get a comparison between the Hophog and the Elgato, but from what I have seen they are very similar in quality. But without, without colour correction, I do believe the whole park has a very slight advantage over the Elgato. As well as the capturing software, it does come with very basic editing software and live streaming software. In the editing software, you'll be able to crop and shorten clips, so you can just choose to upload the section you want. You also have the ability to upload directly straight to YouTube, so you don't have to go through the upload page of YouTube as well. Another nice feature which really stood out to me in the software was actually the live streaming software as it's very simple to use as just once you've logged in and you've just started the clip up you can add your own voice over while actually live streaming directly to Twitch or Ustream. So overall I would recommend this capture card to anyone who's looking to buy one at the moment as it does produce very good video quality and also they've got great customer support as I found it very easy to contact them when I actually had an issue with it which they sold very quickly. And it does also have a few nice features like the live streaming function and also the button on the top which you're able to start live streaming or recording straight away without any hassle. But the two things I would like to see change about this product mostly are the size of the product as it is not very compact and it's not very easy to take around with you and I would also like to see the price decrease. As for you expect the price will decrease over time as a very new product on the market but I would like to see it retail at a lower price at the moment. But that's pretty much it anyway, I hope I covered the product as well as I could and again I definitely would recommend this product as you're going to get one of the best video quality out there at the moment.